Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Live at CES is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit's live coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Episode 5 for January 2010. Twit Live at CES 2010 is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Do more and travel less with GoToMeeting. Make your next meeting a GoToMeeting instead. For your free 30-day trial, visit gotomeeting.com slash twit. And by audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash twit. And remember to follow Audible on Twitter at audible underscore com. And by the new voice-activated sync featuring hands-free calling, music and podcast search, and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. For more details, visit SyncMyRide.com. So welcome to our live coverage, Twit Live at CES 2010. We're back live at the parties. That's now these right. parties are uh, like last night, designed for uh, the press, designed for journalists. So what we're going to do is go to something called Showstoppers, which is a long time CES tradition. I've always liked it the best. I love Stephen Leon, the guy who puts I've it together. I've never been, so I'm excited. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. So uh, not as crowded, I have to say right away. And there, I don't see no. any giraffes yet, but let's see if we can uh, register K through N. K through N. And you're Maybe over you're, there, so I'm, over, I'm way over there. I'm gonna register real quickly over here. Leo Laporte. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Let me get my card for you. Okay. Oh, my business card is hiding somewhere. So, uh, <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> you know you you register ahead of time, and they have a name and tag they have for a you. Name tag so that people know who you are. But we already have name tags from CES. You are there, here. There, she found it. Yay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Press get on a website. So I'm going to put this on my uh, lapel. On. How do you like my groovy uh, attire today, huh? I think it's nice. It's very casual. There are a lot of suits here tonight. Yeah. Last night was more casual, I this think. This is supposedly a little more software, a little more PCE. Watch out for um, people. Than the uh, oh, digital this experience. This is my area. Here's the Sanfords. Yes. I'm pre registered. I do in my purse somewhere. Can you hold this? I need to find my okay. business card. Okay. She's got to find her business card. Oh, no. She has my purse and her business card. really for real. I can't believe it. Dang, come here. Some producer, huh? I left my, I, I've, I've left my business card all over the place. We need, uh, we need, I need uh, my purse. Kiki's purse. There we go. Business card time. So we do want to thank our friends at Ford uh, and Sync who are making this possible. Boy, we had a great right, interview with Alan Lally, the uh, CEO of Ford, yesterday. I hope you got a chance to see that. And today we were like looking at the stuff on the show floor. We'll get some of this on the uh, show tomorrow in the next couple of days. I'm we're going to so be excited. live uh, all day tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. We've got a great place, yeah. a, a really nice booth uh, overlooking the South Hall. If you are in Vegas thank and you're coming to CES, we're in S1. It's right on the first floor. As you come in the big door there, hang a Louie, and we're right there. You can't miss us. Uh, we're going to do Windows Weekly. We're going to do the Daily Gizwiz. Um, I think Home Theater Geeks. We're going to do a lot of the shows uh, tomorrow, so you can watch those shows. But people will be coming by during the entire event, so uh, we'll, we'll have lots of stuff. And then Kiki is going to yes. go out with Brent. I will and, be uh, out with Brent and Colleen. Tour the floor. What did you Touring. see today? Anything interesting? Yeah, I saw a lot of great stuff today. A lot of amazing televisions. 3D is big. 3D is big this year. We're going to try and show you some of that tomorrow. I'm going to try and get over to Panasonic and Toshiba. There's some uh, motion gesture control. Instead of having a remote control, you just you wave your hands at your television. It's very minority report. Um, we fell in love with the stuff. LGs. They're this thin, almost no bezel. It's like a floating screen out yeah. there. <laughs> Patrick Norton Patrick. just tickled me. Patrick, what are you doing? You... Come, Come back. Come back. <laughs> do you like Come my? Back. Do you like Come my? Um, 
My wavy gravy shirt. I know, exactly, Patrick Norton. There's just a little bit of lint on it. I wanted to make sure you were as beautiful as you should be. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're streaming live right now we uh, are. via EVDO. Oh, I'm glad I didn't curse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The... Uh, What's the, what are you most excited about at CES at this we were, point? I was just saying, uh, Kiki and I really like these really thin LG TVs. They were this thick LCD with almost no bezel. They looked just not, beautiful. That's not, that's not. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. I'm not excited about 3D. I think 3D is stupid. Me too. Ooh. And I know them fighting it's words. It's a gimmick. Because Panasonic well, Sharp actually, LG. I don't want to wear the glasses. Here, here's, here's three thoughts about that. One, this is now officially thick for ATTVs. Well, you got you, the LG. Have you, seen, I mean, have you seen the LED 9000? It's ridiculous. From whom? Samsung, oh, yeah. third of an inch thin. Wow. The remote control is so completely unhinged, you'll be able to stream video to the remote control. Oh, that's so you cool. Can, like, I don't know, watch the news watch while a little something thumbnail. else is playing. That's cool. No, it's, it's actually more like a four-inch screen. Oh, neat. It's completely unhinged. It's the most out-of-control TV I've seen. I got I to You're going say, to the Samsung booth tomorrow. I'm going to Samsung tomorrow, people. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. What's interesting about the 3D is I'm, 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 I have one foot firmly in the camp of 3D has been a gimmick for 40 years in cinema. But Avatar did some interesting things. It had Roger Ebert finally writing I know, after 40 he years of it. despising. I know. Because he always says, the Zulu throws the spear in your face, and it breaks the fourth right. wall, and it right. ruins the cinematic experience. They he's did some saying, of that in Avatar, too, you got to admit. I, I'm, I'm not saying they didn't, but he's saying it, it for the first time, he actually felt it was investing him inside the story. Right. It's also really interesting to watch. I mean, you know, I, 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 got, I got three to one odds at this point that it's a smoking crater that slows down Blu-ray adoption for a year. The other thing is, we find out whether or not... <laughs> I'm going to get some great email from people. I'm with you. No, one. I'm completely with but you on that. the alternative is whether or not... What, what I have talked to about people who are rabid sports enthusiasts who have seen football shot That may be where they're going. And who are completely obsessed. Right. Like, gibbering baseball well, statistic nut freak today, out. Going like, you haven't seen sports, do you yeah. see it in 3D? Today, and that's what there are, the 3D cameras to, around. Yeah, that, and today DirecTV announced yeah. that they were going to do 3D over satellite. So that's probably, because they're and the they big NFL. On the show. At yeah. least, you know, in, in yeah. this whatever. It's alright, but I, show. you know, when I saw the 4K. into my face. And, and I know we've had 4K here for a few years, but I haven't been here for a few years. But those 4K screens, to me, a 2D with high resolution, 4K resolution is to me far superior. I wish they put this energy into 4K and leave uh, 3D on the on the, on the well, cutting room floor. The dollars question, the really fun one to ask is, will we see a Leo Laporte next year in 4K? Raving, raving no, you about won't. his 3D I guarantee television you. and how it really brought I guarantee baseball you. back to his life nah, again. I guarantee you. I, I, I really try to give 3D uh, the time of day, and I've and I've worked hard at it. And the more I see it, the more I wonder: Are people going to want to wear glasses? Right. Are people going to want to do this? And I think and the it's, glasses are the real stumbling point. Glasses one and two. The picture isn't as good. I don't care what you say; it is not as good as a good two-day picture, and it's nowhere near as good as a two a good four K. Maybe it's the, kids the kids will like it. Yeah. It's a it's a crappy picture. Why don't it's fuzzy. You just go it's, buy them a baseball. It's just not as good. And tell them to go outside. You can't continue to power the economy <laughs> with consumer electronics purchases. If children go outside and play. That's a good oh, point. All right, all right, so what are you doing here? Just checking it out? Yeah, well, I had to, we, we, you know, furiously editing. Roger just ran. I basically made sure Roger could find the car in the parking lot. If you haven't been to a Las Vegas casino, it's basically a Skinner maze without the shocks. <laughs> just a lot of suffering and really confused and terrified people wondering where the mortgage money went uh, when you go in the wrong cul-de-sac. What happened? Yes, <laughs> very sad little mice wondering where their cheese went. Did you see something in here that you that we should go find? Is there anything in here that, that maybe what wasn't around last night or? Q has a very very interesting. Not an e-book, not an e-reader, a pro-reader, because they've, they're they basically building around the idea that there are professionals who want access to their documents and want the Wall Street Journal or whatever is downloaded automatically, like 10.7-inch screen, 8.5 by 11-inch I package. was surprised by the number of e-readers I've seen here and tablets I've seen here, both yeah. of which you know are kind of going into this buzzsaw of Apple's tablet and this buzzsaw of the Kindle. Oh, Everybody it's, wants it's, to... Well, what's, what's interesting is you had, you had Dell and HP and Microsoft in three separate With announcements. It's with tablets, very publicly, and also calling them slates. Yeah, because there was a rumor that it was going to be it's the almost, ice slate. It's and almost. Now it's, it's everybody's Are they trying slate. to preempt it, or I think partially they're trying to preempt. I had my hands on the Dell, the the prototype of 
of the handheld, and it's a nice piece of engineering. And you know what interface. I love? Did you did you see? We saw yesterday the Lenovo uh, U1. Yeah. That it's a removable. It's a regular laptop. Removes the screen. It becomes a, a Linux tablet. You put it back on. It becomes a Windows 7 laptop. That was it. Was a beautiful awesome. piece of engineering, if nothing because else. A lot, it's a beautiful piece of engineering, but you know, I, I can see that look in your face, like because all of IBM's primary customers are thinking, what yeah. I really need is a notebook that turns it's into a, a Linux it's, tablet it's when odd, I'm in the toilet. It's an odd product, but that's yeah. really what it is. It's a, it's for the toilet. It's a toilet PC. Which we've been talking about at CES <laughs> I know, I know. for nine years. I know, I know. Years. <laughs> Let's, go find, full circle. Let's go find the best toilet PC. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> good to see you. Thank you for letting me take your lens. I It'll love be on that eBay later on. All right. <laughs> Patrick Norton, <laughs> DLTV. Patrick and Roger are here having a great time. <laughs> All right. Nobody in the pipeline is ready to deal with 4K distribution right. of, of media or but 4K screens. But we've got screens. these reds, you know? We've got reds, so we've yeah, got we cheap got production yeah, of 4K. Is, the problem is you, you, you have reds, but you would have to completely re-digitize everything that has been scanned no, no, in no. for, Just for go for, Going forward, you do everything in 4K. Oh, but all that, and the, and but the all that money is in the already reruns, decided. man. <laughs> well, maybe, but the movie yeah. industry has decided. Um, I really think that that, to me, is a much more realistic experience. Well, you know, sure. you go over the falls in 4K, I go over the falls in blue in 3D. You're gonna you're gonna have a better experience. I can tell you sit down with Alex and Pixel Core a lot these no, days. No, no, no. <laughs> he, you know, he, he's he's on top of it though. We have the interpolating televisions, so they can up res things. What do we so see? A 480 hertz TV. Yeah, 480 that was hertz ridiculous. television took it from a, a one. 180 hertz original signal. I, I, I'm starting to think of that as like the really bad like clock ratings. It's like the processor is, is. you know, Why 40% is 480 faster, better than 120? It's not actually doing any more work. It's interpolating. There's yeah. nothing there. So I don't know why well, it's it better. It makes it shiny. Yeah. <laughs> it would, but it, actually what it does is makes it look like bad video production That's from what the it, early to me. 90s. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, I mean, and, and I've, I've had some really interesting discussions with people. They're like, okay, well, you know, it, it has some potential in gaming. It has some potential in sports because of the way they're shooting it. But if you are a cinephile. Come over here because we're going to have bad continuity, unfortunately. Mm. I'm sorry. You know, if you're a cinephile and you, you're used to 24 frame, you know, it's it, video stutters, or I should say movie stutter. It's how right. we have grown up with cinema. No, people like you know? 24p. Yeah. But, so it's ironic. We're going to 480. You know, yeah. it's crazy. Well, I don't know if we're going to 480, but 480 Somebody looks, thinks we are. <laughs> well, it looks <laughs> good. It like, right, doesn't look real. You know, Vizio goes into Costco. They actually do right. four-color print on the boxes. That helps them stand out and establish a marketplace. And all of a sudden, you've got another set of checkbox games. And the truth is, is you know what? You can turn off the 480. You can run it right. at 60 hertz. You can have 3 2 pull down. It can do right. interpolation that doesn't smooth it out and make it look like right. a poorly shot video. But that's going to be one of the checkbox races. And if that means I can turn around and go, wow, there's a 75-inch television from Vizio for 3,500. I don't really care if it's 3D. Right. I can have a badass looking 1080p television right. It's bigger than some of the movie theater screens I've seen in New York right. City, you know? Yeah. So, anyhow, I get a reward. HD Nation on, uh, HD on Revision Nation. 3 and DL.TV. Right. My pleasure. See ya. Run. It was so good to see you. <laughs> that you guys was Patrick Norton. I think lots. you knew that. We, uh, I was just starting to say we, we thank Ford for and Sync for making this possible. Ford uh, Sync is that great hands free Bluetooth calling, uh, uh, plays your music, and they've got some great stuff. We saw in the, on the show floor, we'll show you in the next couple of days, the first tweeting car, a car that you can actually dictate your tweets from. Voice this, to tweet. This is the new My Ford and My Ford Touch. They're kind of rebranding Sync as My Ford and My Ford Touch with some great new features. We've heard about the Wi Fi, we've heard about the tagging on HD radio. The, the, the whole goal now is, again, keeping your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel, but bringing you into the 21st century with 21st century communications technology in the car. It's amazing. If you haven't taken a look at Sync, please go to your Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury dealer and try Sync. It is unbelievable. I just loved it. We are now back live, so let's go back in. Now let's you got your in. badge. Did you get your badge? Got my badge. All they'll right. Let, they'll let me in now. So we're going to stop I'm the official. show with showstoppers. We're going to walk into the uh, showstoppers floor. That's now, right. I have to say, you know, this isn't a setup. We haven't been inside yet. We haven't seen what's no. there. Hey, look at that. My Who old buddy people? Matt Harris, ladies and gentlemen. From Butterscotch. From the fantastic Butterscotch. I just How ran into doing? Sean Carruthers today. I, we're everywhere. We have a three-person crew, or a three crew, six people. We're down here. We're everywhere. Andy Walker's here? Andy Walker's here. Sean Carruthers here. Andrew Moore Crispin is here. Oh, wow. So 
So we're covering the floor. We've done showstoppers. We've done CES and Veiled. We're doing the floor. It's, it's been great. Matt Harris produced uh, the Call for Help show in Toronto and Lab with Leo in, uh, in Vancouver and his old friend, a good friend, and still in Toronto. You, yeah, moved back to Toronto. Moved back to Toronto. Yeah, many moons ago. I think the last time I saw you, I think the, the Twit Cottage was a dream, and now it's a reality. Yeah, it's still kind of a dreamy reality, but it's a reality. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reality. What's your What's the favorite thing? You've been covering, covering, covering. What do you think is the best thing here so far? I've seen a lot of OLED technology, which I think is really, really cool. It's beautiful. You think they're going to sell those? I don't know, to be honest, but I mean, <laughs> it's pricey, I'm sure, but it looks, it looks cool. It looks pretty. The pretty factor is up there, so. We like pretty things, so. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, it's so good to see you. Likewise. Thank you, Matt. It's funny running into you guys yeah. here, but uh, yeah. carry on. All we've been doing, you know, half of our CS coverage at least is meeting old friends and saying hi to people. <laughs> hi, Maybe three you? quarters of like, it. Like, who's this guy? It's Forget like, the product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to see Matt. It's good to see you. I doubt you too. All right, take care. Take care, All right. guys. Bye bye. Say we're hi gonna, to we're gonna get inside. We actually haven't gotten inside yet. No, oh, we've been slowly, <laughs> we've been see. slowly trying there to get is. inside here. Get in it's door. Cowboy Bill. Hey, Cowboy Bill, how you cowboy doing? Bill. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, Ooh, here we are. Into the room. Once again, not as crowded, but another big crowded. hotel ballroom full yes. of stuff to see. Yeah. You've got the green Where can we power start? pavilion. The monster. You've got productivity tools, security tools, and software, computers, cameras, wireless There's communications. There's a Ford Technology Pavilion. Sponsor services, coat check. Mm -hmm. you, <laughs> you've got, hey, there's a Ford Microsoft Technology Pavilion. We got to get over to see that. Audio, video, Audio, video digital, and interactive and entertainment. Pavilion. Should we just like, go uh, counterclockwise and see what we're going to see? Green power. That sounds fun. Let, wow. We haven't done any eco stuff yet, so you let's go with green? green power. All right, let's, be, let's get green. Let's get um, green. What do we have? I don't know. Absolute software. There's going to be a lot of software here. This yeah. is much more of a software, software show, show than the other shows. Uh, Intuit. Um, here's a yes. Laratech. This is a, this is a uh, um, K case manufacturer, right? I can't remember what they do. K Plastic Logic. All the benefits. Now, this of, is interesting. This is what uh, Patrick yeah. was telling us about. Yeah. They're not here, apparently. But... This is the one that um, I try to remember if it was Hearst was talking about, but this is really more of a, a magazine reader than a book reader. So right. that's going to be. I don't see more one here though. The, so we see we got popular. They have a science, table, but no uh, people. But no people. Nobody wants to talk. All right. What else <laughs> we got moving. here? We do want to thank also our friends at Citrix making this possible today with GoToMeeting and, uh, of course, Audible.com. Yep. Our sponsors that have made this whole trip possible. We were going to do it anyway, but once they said we're in for the long run, we, uh, we, we decided to do it up and uh, go crazy here. Kingston uh, oh Technology. Oh, my God, they caught they're... Nemo. Oh, I'm so, that's so sad. They, <laughs> what are they oh, doing to Nemo? Oh, dear. Oh. What have they the done? The horror, the horror. They've killed Nemo. All for 256 gig gigabytes. All, all for a solid state All card. for solid state memory. Oh, the sad. The death of Nemo. Very sad. <laughs> Here's HP over here. Let's see what HP's got. You know, HP, HP is such a big beautiful, name. HP beautiful, and, and they're really good at packaging and um, just making things pretty. And user user interface, the way everything looks, it's all it's all just nice. I like how they've incorporated touch. In fact, we can over, yeah. go over here and see the some touch, of the touch stuff. And that's stuff. something that is, I and think, seven, the, the HD touch is something really that we great. have to look yeah. into. This has been out for yes. a while, but they've refined this. This is their touch smart computer. And what's nice is Windows 7 really kind of supports this. You know, you can just, yeah. and I think the idea is in the kitchen that this, this is where this is going or somewhere like that. Uh, nice they don't have a tuner HD. on it, so we'll go back. Go back to you see home. See how easy it is. I just, I just not feel like it's very natural. I've been told it's not connected to the internet. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And Again, it, with this it's beautiful just screen. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot it looks of like netbooks. It well, works well. You the have netbooks. a, you like your Samsung netbook, your NC10. I have, a, I have the NC10, yeah. and I really like it. Although well, I know at, that there are a the lot of. of this, um, and it, this looks smaller and lighter than the and, and NC10. You know what they're doing? This kind of interesting. That's widescreen. So that's more, 16 by nine. Yeah, more like the thing that you would watch movies on. Yep. It's very lightweight. That is that is actually quite attractive. It still has that netbook feel. It's a little bit cheesy, but a but a, a <laughs> spectacular screen. I think that's it's what's a beautiful. Kind of it's a Look beautiful this. screen. And this one has a. Is he hooking up a projector? And HP's really <laughs> making these little pocket projectors. He's Look making at this. a pocket projector. Leo Laporte rules. Did you see that? Where Laporte. where wait, I didn't wait, see wait. that. Yeah. Wait. That is pretty Let's cool. See, this, so this, he's got a projector. L, the, this LCD projector. Hey, look at that. What? LED projector. <laughs> now he's coming off a netbook. Yep. <laughs> yes. And this L LED projector let's, is... Let's look at this projector. 
They're great. That's they awesome. fit in your briefcase. They don't have to. You don't have, you need a separate briefcase to carry them around. He's not even they with HP, hot. by the way. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy just just messing around. <laughs> it's a TV guy. It's a, he, he knows how to do a setup. He knows how to get it going. That's right. That's right. How you guys hey, doing? Hey, Brian. It's good to hey, see Leo, you. Hey, Leo. I was back home in Seattle last night, and I watched your coverage from Digital Experience, and I just got to say, it was like I was there. Well, Seriously. you are here now. I know. Well, now I'm here. Now I'm here. <laughs> you know what? This is even more realistic, isn't it? Right. Yeah. No, that's fun, it's isn't really it? Really good. It was, I'm you glad. guys did a great job. You. And I, I watched the video yeah, afterwards. I watched the video afterwards where you said you're not going to stream tonight. So, so it was weird because I, I saw you streaming, and then I saw the video where you guys were in the cab line and you were exhausted as all be. So and you were tired. And believe me, we've all been there. So and you tired. said you said we're not going to stream tonight, and then I'm like, but what were they just doing 20 minutes ago? <laughs> A bit of I'm so confused. Obviously, obviously, you guys worked it out. <laughs> we did. Great. Colleen worked it out, actually. What, now, what do you like you about this here, one? Are you working here? I don't, but you know, I, I, I don't work here, but honestly, I, I don't work here. <laughs> I'm the guy at Best Buy that you ask questions. <laughs> right. That, like, right. doesn't work there, right? right? Yeah. But, oh, but, but look at this. This is beautiful. No, what do we like about screen. this? Oh, it's a touchscreen touch netbook. It's a touchscreen netbook. Wow. Yeah, this is the 5102. Is it pretty responsive? It is, and, and there you go. And then look, I can make it bigger. I, oh, they, I they heard told, about this. They've got multi-touch. They, they told me to be nice to it, right? Multi-touch. Wow. Yeah, so there you go. You can you can click and you can close. You can so you can navigate the Windows experience. What I wish it did. I wish this would flip around and close. Become a, so it become a tablet. Like, you know, this would be. This is nice. Make it a tablet. That would be even better. Yeah. Just a little bit better. But it's still pretty cool. Now, let me quiz you. <laughs> let me quiz you. All right, How much do you think this is? Well, it's a netbook, so right. it can't be it can't be uh, more than 500 bucks, uh, is it? Let me ask a better question. This one doesn't have touch, this one does. What's the price difference between the two? Well, I think this one's about 350, 400 bucks, and this can be about 550, 600 bucks. It's 50 bucks more to get touch. Is that all really? Wow. That's what I like. You know, the, and Windows netbooks 7 are... has it built in, which is great. Exactly. So they're the, really the taking advantage. Built in. Yeah. It comes with the, uh, the Windows 7 operating system. That's what we're working yeah. right here. Absolutely. That's pretty well, nice. That's, and that's actually, as you know, that's what makes a lot of this stuff practical. That's what makes it happen. So, What do you do for KXL? I cover technology. That's awesome. You do a radio it's a lot show? Of fun. I do radio. I do radio great. for, for KXL and also on TV at KGW. That's fantastic. Loads of fun. It's, it's so nice time. to meet you, Brian. It's great to meet you. Let me Chris my Perlow card. and I are good friends. Oh, all right. That's yeah, cool. So you're a locker gnome. I, I've been to Gnome Next the last uh, three years. Chris is a great guy. He lives up in Seattle, as you know. Yes, I do. Uh, great fan of This Week in Tech, and I'm glad you guys are here. I'm, I'm Here's really, my card. I'm we'll actually, have you on the show. We'd love I'm to have actually, you on Twitch. You know, I, I got to say, I'm most excited to, to see the mushroom. The it's not here. Oh, she, oh. she didn't bring it. Are we going to use it tomorrow? The Wi-Fi. Oh, the Wi-Fi here. She's, she's so like, Colleen built time. this portable rig with a mushroom portabella on it. But you know what she we found rigged. out is we don't really need the bonded stuff. Uh, right. It's just as good to use a single EVDO card, or in this case, we're on Wi-Fi here. There you go. So. There you go. Very cool. Hey, so nice they to meet you. Get on. Thanks for a great, great. demo. Thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> HP should and, hire and you. Would you, like, <laughs> would you like to meet the HP guys now? <laughs> I don't really know. No, no, I need to. No, I need to. No. Don't need Thanks, to. Brian. It's great, it's great to see you. We'll take care. All right, bye bye. How you fun. You into the best people. No, that touchscreen is really nice. Peter Clue from Fly yes. Cloud from Flycast. Flycast. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, we to see you. We actually have the. Uh, uh, Twit on Flycast. I don't know if you. I know do you do. Weekend. Yeah, thank you. That's cool. awesome. I really Thanks. appreciate I'm, I'm it. I'm a big yeah. fan of the, uh, yeah. the programs. It's very nice to meet you. I actually was. I knew you were coming out here. I thought, wow, I wonder if we could meet Leo Laporte. And there you, you were. You stalked us, and we. Uh, well, not exactly. I was just wandering around. Over by here. the HP booth. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you. So nice to see you. Good to be so here. So tell us about Flycast. Flycast is a platform which allows people to listen to internet radio and terrestrial radio on mobile devices. We carry uh, an app that runs on the iPhone, BlackBerry on the Symbian very soon, Windows Mobile very soon. Uh, we just launched our Droid application today. We've been I'll on regular Android. Tonight. I That's have my what Droid. I was going to ask. Yeah, she's you a have to go Android. Yeah, we, oh, we've been on the Android, but now we have to work it up a little bit different for the uh, for the Droid itself. And uh, apparently that is, if it's not out now, it'll be out in an hour or two. But uh, <laughs> as of this morning, it was going into the into the system. And it's uh, so it's fresh and new. And like tech things occasionally, they're a little later than you might hope. So you put the app on your phone, and now you can browse a bunch of podcasts, including Twit, and listen. Yep. Do you listen streaming, or does it download? It, uh, it's, it, we cache everything. So if it's, a, if it's a live program, if you're listening to um, KDFC in San Francisco, right. and you, you go into that stream, it caches in our servers for two hours. So if you're driving along, it, it bursts it out to your uh, device in a few minutes at a time. So if you go into a bad cell, it doesn't drop buffer. it. You go into a tunnel, it doesn't uh, drop it. That's great. Uh, and if you're uh, you tune into a talk show and you hear it say, 
oh, and that concludes our interview that you really wanted to hear. You, you can, can rewind. Skip back. You can skip back I up to uh, 90 it. minutes. Oh, 90 15, minutes, that much? Actually, two hours now. That's uh, but, fantastic. That's a good buffer. And you, you can just jump it back in. And uh, But the, the, the video stuff that we have, including Twit, is... Um, podcast at this point, but there will right. be a lot more video coming, a lot of live well, video. we'll talk. We're streaming, yep. as you can see. We stream Absolutely. a lot more than we used to, so it's we'll amazing. talk. It's beautiful thing. Yeah. Very it's nice. nice to meet Thanks you, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, take care. Take care. So this HP Great booth HP continues platform. on. There's it a lot more, but I think we've really seen all the more cool HP touch stuff. the future. Let's go this way. Yeah, great. And we're on Wi-Fi now, thanks to the... Uh, the we're going to follow So we're follow just going to follow you. You're leading now. <laughs> Wherever you go, there we will go. Wherever you go, I go. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'll follow. Hello. Oh my God! Look at this. It's Mr. Butterhop. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you, Andy Walker, my former co-host from uh, Call for Help. P.O. Laporte. P.O. Laporte. And Andy Clocker. <laughs> yes. How are you doing? Yeah, great. What are you guys doing with Butterscotch today? We are. We shot about 100 pieces here in the last couple of days. Holy Amazing. cow! We just wanted. To, we just figured like last week we did about 75. Wow. And we got like half a million views. Wow, that's so we great. figure we do a third more, we get a third more traffic. Butterscotch.com. Butterscotch.com. Not butter hop. <laughs> not butter pop. Not butter cow. That's all right. I call it nutsack yesterday. So <laughs> I don't know where that is. That that. I, I don't know what about that that uh, <laughs> made me think of that, but I don't know. Did you hear about this, this breath based uh, mouse they have over there, Zixio? No, where's yeah, that? It's about the... over there somewhere. What you breathe on something instead of mousing, you breathe on it, which is oh, we yeah, gotta try that. I don't know That's... what happens if you have bad breath. I uh, <laughs> I had a chopped salad Maybe earlier. It I don't. Test, In fact, test what it I'm breathing like, on right? you, Andy, and I think you're probably moving away from me. So. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe that's not such a good idea. We'll have to take a look at it. Okay, check it's it out. It's really fun. See you, good to see you, too. Yeah. And I like the shirt. I thought I'd represent. I'm representing the people of Berkeley. Berkeley. <laughs> Dr. Kiki. Repping. Always lovely. Yeah, He's, yeah. It's good to see you, too. It's been a Do you guys know while. each other? Yeah, we do. We oh. met through Alex Lindsay. Oh, neat. All right. And you were doing that. That wacky science thing. You're still doing that? I'm always doing the wacky science thing. <laughs> right, exactly. And then have a <laughs> weird experiment on next year, right? She yeah. does a show for us called Dr. Kiki Science Hour. She still does this week at Science, of course. Oh. So yeah, and I'll Andy, I know in. you're good at the demos, demonstrating, coming yeah, up. I'm a with master of cheese. You oh. are. You are. <laughs> Andy, Andy, Andy. He's a master. He has gotten in, in, in so much food in my pants. <laughs> That's, it's that a great clip of you and me uh, mixing up <laughs> cake batter. And then you pull a piece of some some, some sugar and it explodes over oh, the entire yeah, studio. The exploding, the exploding uh, confection of sugar. Yeah, we should look it up on YouTube. It's hilarious. It's the funny. camera crews We're hated go look us. For it. I know. Ken Gamble, our TD, was like, oh. was crying, right? Ten thousand, hundred thousand oh. dollar camera. They, they, oh, they hated us so much. <laughs> right. And of course, the last sugar words too. as we as they as we broke for lunch every day, the last words were. Walker, you're cleaning that up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the host. No, apparently you're not. Here's the mop. Clean it up. Yeah. You made the mess. You clean it. <laughs> it's great to see, great you. To see you. Yeah. All right. Congratulations on your success. Butterscotch is doing great. Thanks, yeah. It's so right. nice to see yeah. you. Take care. Bye. More backwards walking for you as we go. Whoa. <laughs> She's having too much fun. I'm just, you know. You're tethered. This I'm, is not. I'm canoodling. All right. We Windling. saw Bill. Remember, you went in Bill, and you I loved did, the shopping. I did. Uh, Bill has uh, some really cases. pretty, pretty yep. cases for yep. your laptops, for your mobile devices. Neoprene based with really pretty designs, so you'll protect as well as beautify your technology. Absolutely. Hey, Good we should go over and see life. Seismic. I was thinking Seismic would be a great thing to now, check out. I, I want to know what they're doing I right now. I use Seismic on my Droid for the Twitter client. I think it's the Do best you? Twitter client out there. Oh. Really great. But Seismic, I think, had some announcements uh, uh, today. We're following you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leo Laporte from uh, Twit. Nice to see you. Hi, Jason. Oh, you don't belong to them? Uh, but Jason was watching last night as well. Yeah, I was. Yeah, we were, we were Skyping last night. And oh, that's great. Too. Oh, that's great. So yeah. I'm, I'm with a mobile search engine out of, the, out of uh, UK. Tech Weaver. It's called Tap2. Tap no, two. I'm, I'm here. Tap2 is my blog. but. Sorry. Just tapped you. Yeah. So Tap2 is a search engine that finds only touch-friendly content. So oh, that's cool. On apps, uh, YouTube videos. Seismic. Seismic stuff, yes. Seismic. So, yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tap, T-A-P, number two? T-A-P-T-U. Yes. Dot com. Yes. All right. Nice to meet you. I want, so, I want to know. Hi, I'm Yama. John. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Great to see you, Yama. Well, now, I was just telling Kiki, who's a Droid user, as am I, that uh, Seismic's the best Droid Twitter app. That's great to hear. I want to I mean, I I know. I'm using the, uh, what is Twit it? Twit Droid, probably. Twit Droid. Okay. 
Why should I switch? It's free. I, so is TwitDroid. No. There's a, there's, there's a free version. There's yeah, but free. it's not very good. <laughs> it, you know, we just, we are pretty happy with the user interface. A lot of people find it, number one, they find it very stable, they find it very solid, uh, they find it very fast. Uh, but just the user interface, it just flows a little bit better. We can always improve it. We listen to our users. I mean, the first. That's one thing about Seismic that's great. Loic really has a great yeah. connection with his users. We just want to yeah. get some wine. Uh, you know, if you kind of make the rounds back, he's, he's French. French. <laughs> pretty much, he's if you say, where's Loic? Pretty much wine. any time of the day or night, he's uh, getting some wine. <laughs> he's also eating. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll, okay. We'll find Loic. He's not hard to spot. <laughs> so didn't you guys announce something new in the last couple of days? What's yeah, the latest? What's up? Okay, the latest is we acquired Ping FM. Isn't that huge? That's yeah, fantastic. What's that so going to do for you? Well, a lot of people don't know what Ping FM is. So um, I use Ping all the time. I have Ping on my. Uh, uh, You're not Goog everybody. No, I'm, but I'll uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you how I use it. I, I uh, have it on my iGoogle uh, homepage, and it's got a text box. And what you do, you set up your account at Ping FM, and then you say, I want to type something in that text box, and I want it to tweet, I want it to Facebook, I want it to go everywhere. And we have an interface right there that oh, I just opened it up. So if you want to take a so look. So here you go. So you can set up your dashboard to go to anywhere. You see email, uh, all of these. And, and you know, I'm more and more, thanks to yeah. sites like Posturus, interested in this kind of cross-posting capability. Yeah, it's showing, just great. I've been showing people, I've been showing people uh, all the social networks that they can actually post to. And here are all the social networks here. There are 50 social networks. I mean, the idea is that we want to uh, be in touch with all the social networks. We want all our users to really be able to control and manage their online presence. So here, when people look at that, they just go, oh my gosh. And eventually, what we're looking at is we're looking at integrating uh, Ping into all our uh, social applications, like the desk. Wow. The, uh, I love the Seismic desktop. That's what, that's what we're seeing yeah. here, right? And then there's a web-based Seismic, which actually I use now the web page because it's just as good as the Seismic desktop and I don't have to use Air. Yes, exactly. It's web-based. Uh, you can actually, yeah. uh, we've added lists, uh, trending topics. What you'll also find in our next version uh, coming up soon is, uh, well, we're probably in a, probably within a month we'll be integrating Ping. And then uh, we also here have our Seismic for Windows. It's, it's an EXE. That's new. Yes, it's our uh, it's our native Windows application. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we find Adobe Air gets a little bit heavy, and because of that, uh, we've clunky. worked with <laughs> we've worked with uh, Microsoft into getting a native application which works a little bit more smoothly. And it's it's our preview version, and so we kind of built out the interface. And as you can see, it's optimized for Windows 7. Um, and as we, as we just, you know, people are very, very happy with the interface, and now we're going to be working on the features. So yeah, I actually love this. I use this. I'm a Mac guy, though. You're going to do a Mac version? Well, you know, um, now we also, besides the Android app, uh, we also have a, a, a Seismic for BlackBerry. And uh, eventually, uh, very soon, we're going to have our iPhone app. Great. Okay. Um, I'd love to see this though on uh, on the Mac because it's, it is. You're right. I don't like to use Air if I can avoid it, and I do use the web page most. Sure, sure. I mean, what we're finding is what we're. we're we're still like a year ago. We didn't have any of this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You were a video. Just you were video. a video service. Yeah. And yeah, and it's been amazing. So once we build out, listen to our users, build out our features, we kind of look at what's next, and that uh, that also includes integrating Ping into our products. That's great. It's so nice to see. You. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look you. for a Loic. Yes, please. Uh, and uh, his uh, bottle of and, wine. And uh, I will. If you, wh which way are you going? Just, we just our first aisle, so we'll uh, we'll we'll be here. Okay. okay. We'll find you. Definitely. Nice to see you, okay. Yama. Thank, thank you. you. I love Seismic. It's it, you guys you. are doing great work. Yeah, we all love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey, we want to thank our friends at Citrix. You know, if we had been using GoToMeeting, we would not have to be here. We no. could be there. And I'm not even having fun, but sometimes you want to do a meeting without having to travel, and GoToMeeting is the best. It's yep. from the folks at Citrix, so it's 128-bit encrypted, easy to use, no worry about routing. It automatically NAT traverses, so you, can, you don't have to configure the router, you have to open up ports or anything. It's so secure. And let me tell you something, it's fun and easy for your clients and colleagues to use. So the next time you've got a meeting, I want you to go to gotomeeting.com slash twit, install GoToMeeting, it's free for the first 30 days, unlimited meetings, as many as you want, as often as you want. And, and then 
in if you decide to buy $49 a month, and that includes voice over IP and free teleconferencing. It's a great package, and we really appreciate Citrix's support, not just of our trip here for a CES. We would not be here without, uh, without Citrix, yeah, but also all year long, they've really been a great support for us on Twit, and we just talked to them today, and they're really excited about being part of Twit going into 2010. So we know, you know, we don't have a whole lot of ads. We know you're not crazy about ads. The reason we do the ads <laughs> is because that's how we can afford to do what we do here today, and it's your support for our sponsors that keeps them coming back. So we yeah. thank you too, as well as Citrix. Citrix, uh, go to meeting, go to meeting.com slash twit. We thank them for their support. You see, Thanks. they're doing a radio show over here. My old buddy Dave yes. Graveline, he's been doing this show longer than I've been the tech guy. He's been doing it for ages. Uh, in fact, when I did this show, it was in his garage. Into I don't tomorrow. know if it's moved out of his garage into tomorrow. He's been doing it since 1994. So That's it's kind of fun. Longevity. It's kind of it's kind of fun to see. Yeah. Cool. We've also who do who else is here? CBS News. Oh, it looks like yeah. And um, I heard there was some. Oh, this is Larry Maggot's a bit. TV. Yeah, we so we had Larry on the yeah. show uh, yesterday. I remember. That's right. So that was fun. So, um, hey, good. Good to see you. Um, there's food over there. Are you hungry? No, you had a great I'm fine. We had, we had a great we dinner. We wised it's up. Because I <laughs> overate so much yesterday at the Digital Off Experience. His diet. I had sliders. <laughs> I had risotto cakes. I had. I got. You know what the real problem was? I got hummus all over everything, all over my phone. He broke. So you, you broke your Morphe, right? I broke my Morphe because Mophie. Uh, because I got hummus inside the Morphe. Don't get hummus so in your Morphe. I decided. <laughs> I said, Kiki, let's have a real dinner. Let's go to, let's sit down, let's have waiter service, let's do that, and then, then, and then we can come here, we won't be eating, and, and we, we could, but now I see the food, I'm thinking maybe we should have. No, we don't oh, need well. the food, but we can walk down this way. Let's go down that way. Crunch Care did some good stuff here today, what did, uh, yesterday, what did you guys do? Uh, we're trying very hard, we're doing something new this year, we have the, we've teamed up with Livestream.com to try to sort of bring as much of the show floor atmosphere and energy to the to the crunchier readers, it's 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 some it's one thing to read a text and view a gallery, but it's another thing to see live video to hear the audio, the rawness of of a press conference just to see. Yes, so we're just sort of proud. We're back here. We're talking to all the guys. Every anyone anyone and everyone's invited to. Uh, talk to Crunchy about what they got in the show. And I love Crunch Gear. It's a great blog, great place to find out about gadgets. Well, I'm legitimately starstruck right now. Like, I used to listen to, like, I was, oh, call for help back in the day when I was in high school. Hey, hey you want to cross the streams? Because you got your live stream going here. We've got our stream going here on twit.tv. We could cross the streams. Don't it'd be cross like a, the stream. It'd be like a scene out of Ghostbusters. I'm in a time warp. <laughs> it's like Blade Runner. Yeah. What's going on? It's great to see you. Crunch Gear, always doing great stuff. I think we yes. should go down that away. So, so let's see if we, could, we can... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, were, could, we haven't done that this aisle we here, right? We have not done this aisle, no. So no. let's, let's There's, see what um, we can find. And you got to see, I mean, I know we're not eating, but look at this, Brett, look we, at this we food. We have to take a look at the look food, at the food because the food I mean, is part of the experience, right? Well, this is how they get the journalists here, is free booze and free, I don't know what, towers of meat. And when you get a free tower of meat and a, and a, and a vodka <laughs> gimlet, oh, it's a panini. Now let's ask her, are you using the George Foreman grill for this? <laughs> yes, it's a fresh food. It's a grilled panini. Looks delicious, yes. Yes. Very French. This Very good. French. Ooh, that's a, look, brie. That's a brie it's panini. A, it's, a, it's a three cheese stack. This is quality. All right, look, I'm going to be good. Delicious. I'm not going to, I'm you tempted. You already ate dinner. But I'm going to have just this. Is, can I just have this? <laughs> there we Angel. go. Now, and then we're going to pass by the dessert aisle. We're in the aisle. food court. Um, oh, but we haven't seen this side. We this is seen this, this is Max Thon, Max Thon over here. Yeah, and... Iolo Technologies. True Phone. Who do we have? Max Thon. Seize the web. You know what? I love True Phone. Do you know about True Phone? Let's, no, let's go over here and look at True Phone. Phone. True Phone is like Skype. They have True oh. Phone on the. Um, hey, how you doing, Andy? On the iPhone. Good to see you. You guys have an iPhone app called True Phone that I love. Uh, are, you, are you a user? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I use it all over the place. I use uh, now. I understand it's particularly good at using in, in Europe. A lot of Europeans it's use actually, Truefoam. It's actually very good anywhere you are outside of the U.S. as well as in the U.S. It's it's bad in the U.S. Why? No, no, no. I didn't say that. It's for the most <laughs> cost effective when you're outside the U.S. Actually, absolutely, you're making yeah. Making very very inexpensive phone calls with great quality. I used it in uh, China. Okay. Um, but I have it on my iPhone, and uh, you know, so it's like Skype basically, but it's but it's different. How's it different? How about it's better? It's better. Well, that's yeah. good. It's so much better. You have 
Skype's proprietary, so you can only call Skype users and landlines and mobiles. You can call Skype with TruePhone, you can call Skype users, Google Talk users, other TruePhone users, mobile, landline. So are you a SIP client? <laughs> yes, but we try not to start getting into too much technical information because then it just confuses everyone. It's much easier to just say, just call just about anyone you want with this. Now, the, pro the application is free. The application is free. We give you 50 cents to try it out before we ask you to stump, stump up any cash from your credit card or whatever. But the reality is there's a lot of stuff you can do for free. TruePhone to TruePhone is free? When everyone's in Wi-Fi, TruePhone to TruePhone's free, TruePhone to Skype's free, TruePhone to Google Talk's free. So it's only when you're calling a regular phone that you have to pay? Exactly. And what kind of costs? Uh, so to call a US mobile or a US landline is three cents a minute, and that would be from anywhere in the world. I know a lot of our, we have a lot of international viewers, a lot of our international yeah. viewers use TruePhone to call us. And, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's just a great application. I always keep it on my phone, especially for when I travel. Brilliant. We've got the latest, the latest platform, the latest new interface here is we've got the announcement today that we are now on Android. Yay. Excellent. Yay. Is it Droid? Can it Droid Android? We're not quite there at Droid yet, but we're working on it, so we'll be almost there. Nexus One. Do this for Point me. Five. Nexus One is also on the roadmap. We, as a company, are very excited about what's happening in the Android space. Nexus One, the, the Droid platform. It creates another opportunity for us to be able to proliferate our software and save our consumers a whole lot of money. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah. great. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. You're from Australia. I'll be able to talk I'm about it London. when you get it on the droid. London? Yes. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> you don't sound like a convict or anything. No, no. But I am half a Kiwi, so. All right. Kiwi. Maybe a little Kiwi leaking in there. Maybe that's what it is. Nice to see you. Thanks a lot. All right. Nice to meet you. We could go find. Uh, Thank you, Andy. Nice to Pogo. meet you. Pogo. All right, we there's Down food is in the way. Pogo there's Pipes. more food in the way. way. Hey, I gotta say hi to Ron White. I haven't seen oh. Ron in ages. Hello, Leo. Ron wrote the most beautiful book ever written. Oh, thank you. I, although I, I think Milton and some of these people really got to it before me. Well, all right. So it, it, is it still available? Oh yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry. What edition? It's now in the ninth edition. It's called How Computers Works. It's totally available at your local bookstore. I'm so glad that it's still it's you're still doing it. Yeah, and I'm going to do a tenth edition pretty Fantastic. soon. So it, it's uh, it's it's out there, and people like you keep it keep it going. Yeah, how computers work. If you uh, you know my audience, uh, most of you guys are pretty technical, know how computers work. But if you've got family or friends, and you want to explain how a hard drive or a CD-ROM works, uh, you know this this is the book. It's just gorgeous, beautiful illustrations. Really explains it well. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll send you my new book uh, called How Digital Photography Works. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, I thought you might might yeah. be into that. But yeah. so I'll, I'll send Great. you that. It's same idea, same principle, same artist. Uh, so you, you'll like that, I think. So good to see you, Ron. Thanks for stop, thanks for letting us stop by and, and bug you. All right, appreciate it. A quick bug. It was well, it was it, Ron was a longtime editor at Ziff Davis. Those books are nice. just the best computer books for people who want to kind of understand. You know how things work. It's yeah. that same format. But, you know, a lot beautiful illustrations, exploded uh, diagrams, and, and all and that stuff. And it's so rare to find books that aren't over people's head and that allow you to actually yeah. learn something. You know, yeah. they're, they're written in a language that you can get. Exactly. That's what you need. David, how are you? Good to see you. What's up, There's David? There's the boxy. Um, you remember, we emailed back and forth about 12 mail a couple of times. 12 Tell seconds. me about 12. Oh, I love 12 seconds. I know. It's the iPhone app for 12 seconds. So now 12 mail lets me mail my 12 second videos? Yeah, and in fact, I can show it to you right now. All right, let's see if we can. We gotta We've avoid, never done this before. We have to avoid the text from my wife saying happy birthday. So happy we're birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So here is 12 mail. I don't know if you can see that right there, that one. People that orange I've seen one. 12 seconds. I know you have, Kiki, where you're, it's like a tweet, but it's video. You're allowed only 12 seconds, just like you're allowed only 140 characters on your tweet. And, and it's so really fun. It limits, the, it limits what you can say. It allows you to be creative. None of these long, hour and a half, streaming, boring, never mind. So I'm going to put this on, yeah, you mean like right now? Yeah, maybe, so maybe. Gonna, I don't know. No. no. I'm going to put this up on Twitter and on Facebook at the same time. It's Allison be Tan, exciting. I know that's, her. That, that's my wife. You're married to you Alice and my wife? Oh, oh, never mind. This sounds bad. All right. Okay. We're going to turn this sideways, and that's going to automatically pull up the video recorder, and right. now we're recording what's behind me. I'm going to record. We're going to record Leo. Hi, it's Leo Laporte here from Showstoppers at CES 2010 in Las Vegas. Man, I'm exhausted. I can't believe it. How do you like my wavy gravy shirt? <laughs> Peace out. And that was 11, 12 seconds exactly. You can tell I've done one or two of yeah, these. Yeah, exactly. Well done. <laughs> and we'll use. This is now going to send to the to space. It's going to go up to space. There's 
things, satellites Space. and whatnot. Wow. You know? And then it's going to come back to Earth, which is going to be awesome. This part's really not that exciting. And the login. Oh, the login. We, we can title it Leo. So we, we've had the 12 second video Send. application before. So this adds email to it? Well, it basically adds SMS, email. It's, it's so instead kind of, of a making a public. 12 second video, I now can do a private video, like a birthday video. You can send it to specific people, to individuals, and it's uh, still sending. Uh, yeah. You can send it to specific it's people, to individuals. It's going pretty fast, actually. It's good, because it's good high quality video. That's the nice part of it being 12 seconds, yeah. is that it's a discrete short chunk of video. It doesn't take David, was that your loading. idea? It wasn't. The, the the genius behind it is somewhere over there drinking Maker's Mark. I'm glad we, I, I shouldn't I'm glad say we, that I'm on camera. No, I love Maker's Mark. I'm glad I saw you, though. I love 12 seconds, and 12 mail is fantastic. It's a great application. Thank you so much for taking yeah. the time. You're yeah. going to kill me because I'm going to suggest, this is a suggestion. That we backtrack I'm slightly. I'm going to suggest that you swing left and look at Boxy, which is the social we media center. We saw it yesterday. We, we saw love it Boxy. Last night we saw the we, Boxy we box. It. Have you seen the Boxy box? The Boxy box is so sexy. It's, so it's sexy. got like one diagonal yeah. side. It's yeah. a little yeah. crooked. I know, right? Asymmetrical. It's good. So this is this is going to be the best part right now is when I go one more and I say, "Have you seen Pogo Plug?" Which is the cloud storage I device. I own Pogo you Plug. You own the Pogo Plug. I love Pogo Plug. Well, but we'll go over and look at them. Where are they? They're just to the left of Boxy. They're All right. literally we have to 15 back. feet from you. We'll go visit Pogo Plug. We would love it if I'm, you did. I'm a big fan. I, I love the Pogo Plug. It's great to it's see you, David. It's a really nice, yeah. really nice to see Thanks. you, too. Say hi to Allison. Thank you so much. I will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have a good show. No Thanks. idea. All right. So we're Why, on our way Ken, to Pogo Ken Plug. Ken wants me to come this way. He's, he's publicious Ken. Hey, how are you, Douglas? Good to see you. David, how are you? Good to see you. Trend Micro. That's right, Trend I Micro. I remember you guys. Right. Do you want me to come on your show sometime? Sure. I will. Uh, what, what will you talk about if I brought, if I put you on? About malware, computer malware. Tell us about how bad it is out there. Today we discovered 71,000 new unique pieces of malware. That's up from when I first met you. It was three to five a month. Now it's 70,000 a day. Trends PC Cillin is really one of the best antiviruses yeah, out there. Great. And I, I think House Call is the greatest. House Call's fantastic. Uh, PC Cillin is now called Trend Micro Internet Security. And it's oh, I can't keep up. It's available wherever fine software is sold. Your show is the greatest. I listen all the time. It's I'm nice to see you. Be, nice to be seen. You told somebody you'd never heard of me before. Uh, I've heard of you now. No, we've met many yeah, years ago. On your television yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my problem is I've met a lot of people, David. Me too. Me too. Many yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. I forgot already. Who? What? Who? Yeah. What? When are you going to redo the calendar? What calendar? The, what the calendar? calendar? You, you had a calendar, an almanac. Of the oh, my book? Yes. Oh, hell, there's no money in books, dude. I'm not writing books. <laughs> it's like being in the antivirus business. It's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know a guy who knows I know. We'll yeah, yeah. We're going to head David. to Pogo Plug right now. <laughs> We're going to go take a look at this cloud storage <laughs> box. Oh, thank we've you. Been to Boxy. He says the 60s called. They want my shirt back. We've seen the Boxy back. box. Last night, we talked to Boxy. Sure. What's your app? So my app is uh, adding a second line to your iPhone. Phone. So you have two lines on one phone. One What's for this personal, called? One for business. It's called Line Two. I've heard of this. I'm really interested in seeing yeah. this. Yeah. So what this does, though, is it. it not come only do you around, have to come over around uh, his shoulder, maybe, and he can uh, get a uh, over the shoulder shot. Yeah. So you can look. You have two lines on one phone. You have your personal life and your business life. So there's the camera right, right there. Right. And you separate your personal and your business life. In real life, you should be able to do that on your iPhone, too, instead of carrying two phones. So right. when my girlfriend calls, I don't have to take it on the same line as my exactly. wife. Exactly. Or it. when, exactly. And that, that's the consumer application of this product. <laughs> or you can but, keep your family life and your business life exactly. separate. That's maybe more yeah. appropriate. Right. <laughs> but businesses use it, too. And they typically want to separate business and personal. Separate contacts, separate voicemail, separate everything. And There's a, but not separate caller ID. Separate caller ID, separate numbers, two numbers on one phone. No kidding. Absolutely. How do you do that? That's amazing. Uh, we have our magic trick. Is it VoIP? It must be VoIP. Well, no, this is what's cool about it. It works over VoIP and it works over cellular, inbound and outbound. So you're home or you're, you're traveling, which you do a lot, and you're in a hotel room without cell reception, right. it'll place and receive the calls over oh, Wi Fi. Right. And you don't have to, with the same number, you don't have to launch Skype. Or play around with true fire. Monthly fee for this? Fourteen ninety five a month. And the app and is and Canada calling. Oh, unlimited calling, fourteen ninety five. So this would be better than say getting a VoIP calling right. service. Or if you want to get rid of your landline and you want to have a separate number 
And you don't have cell reception because you live in a canyon at home or something right. like that. I don't understand how it could work. It's kind of black magic to me because how do you tell the phone you got too long? We have some trick. We have servers in Los Angeles that do all That's that. the secret. Los Service. Angeles, there's a lot of magic that happens down there. <laughs> it's Tinseltown. Right, well, that's exactly. Really cool. Line 2, it's Line an app. Two. You go to the app store, download it. You know, I read about it and I thought, this looks really cool. So I'm so glad you stopped me. Because yeah. I've been meaning to install it on my iPhone. I'll do it tonight. All right, good. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> Line 2. Thank you. That Line is a great app, great. actually. Yeah. yeah. There's the boxy box. Now, boxy for those box, of you watching tonight that missed box. last night, just so you see it again, it is such a cool little piece of hardware. Puts the boxy user interface into a box, kind of like a Roku box. This guy's the Pied Piper. He keeps pulling us around, pulling us around. Um, he, I just it, love the boxy and box. And the box is artistic. It becomes a piece on your mantle, on your entertainment yeah. center. It doesn't just get stacked underneath things, it's, which it's is where pretty we're exciting. Going. I really yeah. think it's where we're going. Uh, well, technology, it, 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 it should look pretty. You know, I wanted to talk it. to these guys for a long time because I plug. love Pogo Plug. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll just be calm. Go ahead. You could continue your conversation. Don't let me interrupt. Yeah. Nice to see you. What's your name? Jed. Jed, this is such a great product. We plug this like crazy on Mac Break Weekly. Yeah. We love Pogo Plug. I got the original $99 Pogo Plug, but it looks like you got something different going on. What's new? We do actually. Yes, we have a uh, new design as you can see. It's, it's very cool. It's pink. Yeah. That's you know the primary reason for buying this, right? <laughs> it's uh, it's got it's four. It's got wire uh, wire uh, control, which I management, which I like. It does actually. Yeah, we've spent a lot of time with the design. Wire management control. It's got four USB ports. So you can oh, now, see, before I, basically before, so people don't know, it was almost like just a wall wart with a USB port on it and an Ethernet jack on it. And the way this worked is you'd plug the Ethernet in, you'd add a hard drive to it, and suddenly you're publishing your hard drive on the Internet. So it's like having, uh, you know, SkyDrive or iDrive or, or, you know, any public hard drive, except it's your it's hard yours drive. It's your house. And one of the yeah. great things you can do is I, I, I used the USB drive, copied all my music onto it, then plugged it into the Pogo plug, and now you can stream. There's an iPhone application. In fact, just to prove I'm not joking about it, I've got it here, and I can stream my my music from the iPhone application from my Pogo plug. But so this is the same idea, but now why four use for four drives? Yeah, four drives. We can have uh, effectively unlimited storage on this. So I have eight terabytes back in my house, Holy and this drive wow. starts to get bigger. You, you add more, and you can also can I swap drives back and forth? Uh, that that's what that's because you don't. If you're copying files onto this through Pogo Plug, you're copying it over the internet, so it's slower. Yeah, actually, if you're on your LAN, it goes direct to your Pogo. It does. It does. Yeah. Smart enough to know that. It is. It auto detects it, so even if you're using the web browser, it finds it, says I'm local, and I'm going to stay local. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's really important for us, so it's really fast gig Ethernet. So it's logging into my Pogo Plug, and that hard drive, which is in the Twit Cottage in the studio, is now it's available to me. And it's going to stream it will you stream, all your music. It will stream media, but you can also copy files. It's a really great way for sharing. You know, we use Dropbox like crazy, but we right. pay a monthly monthly fee. There's no monthly fee for this. There's it's no monthly fee. Hardware. Yeah, it's really important for us. Plus, it stays back in your home. You know right. you know where the stuff is, right? right? So I have three little kids. I take tons of videos now. I don't trust that stuff up on YouTube, and I share it all with my mother-in-law. So yeah. I now, you know, I, I add it onto my computer. iPhoto sucks it in there. Now Pokebook has free sync software, so it sucks it over to Pokebook automatically. Mm. Just releasing this right now. And how much is this nice. unit? So this is $129, and there are no service fees ever. You know, Andy Anatko is a right. huge Pogo Plug fan. He plugs it like crazy on Mac Break Weekly. And I said, Andy, I talked about this a month ago. He said, you did? I said, yes. He said, well, it's great. Why didn't you tell me about it? <laughs> Fantastic. First of all, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, We're yeah. big fans of your SD. I found it somewhere. I mean, I, I literally bought mine almost a year ago. It must have been when you just launched. We launched, actually, exactly a year ago yeah. here, here at this show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, and uh, and, and I'm, I, I hope that you continue to grow and more people know about what you're doing, because it's really great. Thank you. I really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, I like I like the fact that it's easy access to your own information and you have control over your own information. It's better it's it's better than Dropbox where you're putting stuff in the hands of some an outside provider. Well, and it's faster. I didn't realize that I'm copying over the land, so it's actually now faster than Dropbox. It's a lot faster, and also we play a lot of tricks to make up for what can be kind of slow upload speeds from your home. So this new version will automatically transcode all your videos, so they stream anywhere now. So now you can play them on your iPhone. You just put them on there. We detect it, and it just happens in the background oh, automatically. Great. Well nice. done. Thank you. Is there a little web server? Good in there design. Basically? Yeah, actually, it's a pretty powerful computer in there. Yeah, what what uh, ARM processor? What are you using? It is actually yes. Yeah, so it's a Marvel processor. It's 1.2 gigahertz, and uh, it's ARM 9. And we do all sorts of crazy software stuff to make up for uh, any slowness of the processor, right. especially in the video stuff. Right. And and uh, uh, all in firmware. It's it's all in firmware. We actually it's very open, so we encourage people to go through. And if you're technical, you can. Uh, you so can it's hackable. 
It's very, very hackable. We have, there's a, all sorts of people that are writing crazy apps for it. That's neat. And there's also neat. a web services API that we publish on our website. So you can think of this thing as a, as a cloud in your home yeah. and go write any kind of web apps as simple as, as uh, writing the HTML. It's the whole computer minus huh? the storage and the I.O., but you've got the I.O. over the web, and the storage, you add your own USB stuff. It, it is a full, always on server, running at less than five amps, so we're, you know, we're, we're green. That's, That's so fantastic. I'm really uh, just blown away. What a great product. Appreciate Thanks for your time. Thank really you appreciate much. it. Yeah, cool. take care. Isn't that Thank cool? You. It is cool. Yeah. yeah. Look who we Dang. got here! Oh my God, Larry! Oh, Fred, how <laughs> oh are you? God. Great to see so... you. I watch you on TV all oh, the time. And I see you on the radio. It's, it's so just great. amazing. <laughs> so, you, we talked about Pogo Plug before. Absolutely. You see they've updated I've this. I've not seen the new one yet. Yeah. I've been going around, I have some info for you. Turkey's great, lasagna so-so, the creme brulee, get it. That's really what the tech journalists talk <laughs> yes, about when they come exactly. to showstoppers. Creme brulee. Screw, exactly. screw the hardware, the software, we're here for the food, right, right. right? No, but I did find one funny thing. I'll tell you a little more about it tomorrow, but my favorite thing here is yes. date, date I, check. I checked before them out go, last night. Before you go on a date, you do a background check. You know what's check. so weird? She was entering my name Creepy. into it. Oh, I did too. <laughs> I know everything, Leo. Uh, the uh, Who am I working with here? Trouble. Drug smuggling. It's amazing that he he made so much out of himself. And 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 instead of USB drives, you see what the, what the pr little premium is over there? Condoms. They're giving away. They have a bowl of condoms. No, yeah. they do. And they're, and they're Only in is, Vegas. The slogan is, "Look up before you hook up." It's really. You know, I have a daughter, and imagine. I have to say. This is the kind of service every parent, every father of a daughter is going to want to use. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, you, you know. This, you, this is not you know just going to be for dates. I mean, you can look up anybody. So it's not just for dating. I, mean, I can imagine people going into business with somebody and going, oh, do I really trust this person? I'm going to check their background and see if I really, you know. But the thing is, had this been around four years ago, we'd never have the Daily Gizwiz. Right. Because I, I, I would have it. never. No. And yeah, your criminal in record is, I mean, it's like. I mean, when I found out who he really was, oh, it was his like. His criminal record is. Jeez. The guy, he has hair. <laughs> you know, and the whole thing's a fake. It's a phone. He shaves his head every night. It's just, I know. it's ridiculous. I have long locks. He's golden long locks. Long, long, long golden locks. locks. So That's we're right. tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do one our 1,005th oh, th Gizwiz. Or no, 1,001. Well, I'm so confused. Yeah, that's one right. of them. But, one but of them. Tomorrow it's kind of apropos because Gizwiz 1,000 will be airing. Airing. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really wonderful. So we're streaming live now, Dick, so say hi to everybody in the well, chat room. They're all watching. Oh, the chat room. Is Dr. Mom in there and all the fans? Oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah. yeah. It's really great. And this thing that Colleen Isn't built that amazing? is amazing. So what's cool is that we really wanted to take people to CES, and I couldn't fly the entire 50,000 people out. So we said. Oh, cheap, cheap, cheap. So we said, let's just stream it live. Yeah. And it's really been fun. It's we're now, we're the two trailer time. trucks outside, is that Shh. part of the? Oh, Colleen's oh, okay. pretending that that's doing all the work, but oh, yeah. yeah, I know it's 55 <laughs> people on payroll trying to. Right. Actually, it's not being streamed. Look, there's the chat room, so right. you can say oh, hi. Oh, it's great! There's oh, great! East Coast girl, hi, East Coast girl, and uh, and. Uh, Where is Doctor Mom? Jeff, is, Jeff I'm is sure, in there. I'm sure oh, she's in there. Amazing. I'm sure she's in and there. And what's really amazing, little backstory, is, is that it's not live streaming. Is that Colleen is taking snapshots and going like this. Wow, 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 wow. And it looks streaming. It, she's amazing. You know, some she's things amazing. never she's change, so though, fast. Dick, because right in the middle of this fine conversation, it's time for me to talk about audible.com. Oh, I know so much. <laughs> Once again. What do they do? The name rings a bell. <laughs> they do audiobooks, Dick, 65,000 audiobooks. So it's many. your incredible audio bookstore online. Anytime you're going to go on a flight, you've got a long commute, you're going to the gym, anytime you can't hold a book but you want to read a book, Audible is the best. The best readers, the best literature, non-fiction, science fiction, romance. It's all there at audible.com. I want you to go there right now. A-U-D-I-B-L-E.com. In fact, if you go to audible.com slash twit, audible.com slash twit, you can sign up for the gold account. That's one book a month. And the first one's free. You can cancel it any time. Pick a book. I don't have one on, off the top of my head to pick, but there's so many great books. You're going to find some wonderful stuff there. Audible.com slash twit. Great people, a great product, and we thank them very much for supporting this coverage of our CES uh, 2010. They make it possible. I'm hotel watching it. It's really Have you great. really? Were you yeah, watching it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's knockout amazing. We, we've, we've been having a great time. One of the things I really want to do today for 
board is here, and I really want to see we what they've got. We have to make it all the way yeah. across. The, I, yeah. don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it across the hall, though. I mean, it's it's, Let's just, it's like shall we try? It's like over right 50 yards away. You took the car. I, I drove through a wall. <laughs> okay. Dick T. Martell on the Giz <laughs> Wheel. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye, Dick. Bye. <laughs> this is so much fun. I am just having it a blast. Is. The, it the is thing fun. that really made Comdex many years ago, and now CES, so much fun for journalists. And I suppose it's true for the trade too that comes here. Is you see people you don't see all year. You have fun, or, kind or of you communicate up. with them, or you read what they're doing, or you hear what they're saying. But then you finally but, meet them. Yeah, getting that face-to-face really face is really important. Can I get you a drink, little lady? <laughs> Maybe a water. <laughs> yeah. I Can I get a couple of waters? You guys have waters? Thank you. Stop at the watering hole. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Dane, give him a 50. He did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> so we're moving our uh, way over to the, uh, over the to Ford. Ford. Uh, it's really uh, the Ford Microsoft Technology mm -hmm. Pavilion. As we mentioned, Ford Who made some big announcements at CES. Uh, Ford CEO uh, Alan Mulally uh, spoke. He was actually the big mm -hmm. keynoter. And I think to have one of the big three automakers as a keynoter at a technology show tells you what's that changing. That tells you what's happening, yeah. I'd really like to check out Nuance, which is the technology behind the voice recognition in the Ford Sync. It is, I didn't know that. Nuance, Nuance does the is, dragon, naturally speaking. Yeah. They do all the voice dictation. I had no idea. Yeah, so they are, they're behind the what Ford is doing. And so I think it would be great to get a chance to, to now, talk with Now, one of the things Nuance. we're going to be able to see here is this is the first Ford with Pandora in it. The first Ford that can tweet. Uh, yep. This is the, the Ford Sync the technology car. next generation that's going to really allow you to do you know everything that you would do online without yep. taking your hands off the wheel or your and eyes off the, the road. And that's the important thing without taking your hands off the wheel, folks. I love this. <laughs> as we well, move forward. As soon, I want to, can we, do you think you we can get in the car? In Let's look in the this back. Looks like, this looks like our car, kind of. The Lincoln MKT, it's yeah? It's beautiful. It's a Lincoln. It is you a can, Lincoln. You can't mistake it. It's a beautiful Lincoln. It's a beautiful car with all sorts of... Uh, Perks. Uh, uh, oh, St Stitcher's also in the uh, in the new sync, which is kind of cool. So it's nice. got Stitcher, it's got Pandora. I mean, you're really you're. I feel bad for radio stations because you, you, you don't need to tune in a radio station anymore. You know, know. it's it's really kind of amazing. Everyone's gonna find their oh, media the their now. own way. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's pretty amazing. Now, is it good enough uh, to have a 3G connection? Am I am I gonna be able to listen nonstop to Stitcher? You can, yeah. A lot of people use exclusively 3G. I mean, a lot of our listeners are commuters, right. um, so they listen, you know, in 3G in their car, and, and um, we have pretty good coverage on 3G. Depends a lot on on where you are um, in the country, and if the 3G coverage there is good. What's the theory behind Stitcher? Well, the theory behind Stitcher is really that that um, you know you want to be able to listen to your news and your information um, when you want, where you want it, and um, you know we want to make sure that we can bring that kind of content to our listeners. So you stitch together, in effect, your own programming using the Stitcher app. That's exactly right. Yeah, imagine if you're you're on your daily commute, your morning commute, and you want to listen to a little bit of technology news, a little bit of uh, sports, a little bit of I comedy. I want to listen to Kai Rizdahl. If you want to listen to Kai Rizdahl. He's hot. His voice. Yeah, he is. He's on there. We've got Kai Rizdahl. We've got all, all about the, Kai. We've got all the NPR content. We've got um, uh, partnerships with all the major content providers and also a lot of smaller content providers. So I'll put together a playlist, get in the car, and start listening. Exactly. That's fantastic. It's on Android. It's on Android. It's on Android. It's on BlackBerry. Good. It's on iPhone, of course. That's how I use it. Yep. It's, is it on, it's on the Pre. It's on the Pre. It's on the Pre. Is and the it Pixie, on the yep. Droid? It is on the Droid. Okay. Yes. And, that is a distinction. Yes. <laughs> and it's in my Ford. It's, it's in, in your the new Ford. Sync. So that's pretty exciting. I Were you excited send... to make that deal? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was really exciting. Our Did CEO. they approach you? How did it happen? Um, our CEO Noah is, is great um, at doing outreach, and, and um, he, he was um, working the pavement and, and managed to work his way up the ranks in, in Ford. And Ford's been an incredible partner for us, and, and they've just been fantastic to work with. Well, let me tell you, I interviewed uh, Ford CEO Alan Mulally yesterday. He mentioned Stitcher, so he's well aware of what's going on. Outstanding. Yeah. That's very exciting for us. Yeah. He yeah. likes the product. He's very proud of it. He's proud of the fact that you can tweet, you can listen to your own stuff, you can listen to Pandora. I mean, this is really transforms the experience in the car. I really think it does, and I think it's it's amazing for listeners to be able to pick what they want to listen to. You know, if they want to mix up a little bit of music and listen to Pandora and then come over to Stitcher and listen to all their news and information radio, um, it's really a transformative experience for listeners in the car. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, letting us barge in on your, uh, on your day. We're going to walk around back here. Pandora's here also. 
I'm a big, as you know, I'm a big Pandora fan. Love Pandora. To have Pandora yeah. in a car is just like a fantastic thing, you know? I would like to tweet in the car. You want to tweet? I want to tweet in the car. I wonder car. if they'll let us tweet from the car. I wonder if they'll let us tweet. Let's I wanna, just peek I in here. I want to send a voice-activated tweet. They're doing a little uh, demo in here. Interview demo. I mean, we've seen this all. In fact, this is just like the Lincoln. It's that, just like the Lincoln in that, fact, that Burke spent hours driving I think Burke driving is shaking, here. actually. He sees this and he goes, <laughs> I don't want to drive back. I don't want to drive back. <laughs> Burke, did you, Burke, though, did you like the sync? Did you play with the sync at all? No. I actually you put me on the spot. I was actually driving most of the time. And did you use the GPS, though? Yes, a little, a little bit. Did that help you get here? Twice. I did. I, I'm told if you want to go to Vegas, just follow the lights. Just to follow the lights. <laughs> at night, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at night. So, Nuance, you wanted to talk to Nuance. I'm going to let you get in there. Yeah, I wanted to find out. And Nuance is the... Uh, the voice technology that's behind. Who wants to talk to me? I'll talk to you. Yeah, I want to. I want to know about the what's what's different about what Nuance is doing with, By the uh, way, with Ford. Sync is a sponsor. I use Sync. I have it in my Mustang. It right. is so accurate. Your voice recognition is fantastic. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah, so well that, done. Well, we've been working with Ford very closely on uh, implementation for this generation, the one that you've got in your Mustang, as well as their next generation technology. So Microsoft Auto doesn't have its own voice recognition? Um, for the sync system, we've been using uh, the Nuance technology. So Microsoft Auto does have uh, some of their own technology. Nuance is better. Is it the same as Dragon, naturally speaking? What engine are you using? Uh, actually, we have a specific engine for Embedded. And it's called uh, Vocon 3200, so not it's a... It's a nice technical name. Yeah, nice, very technical <laughs> name. You can tell the engineers came up with that one. Uh, but it's uh, you know, a second or third generation embedded voice recognizer. That's got to be hard, because one of the things that's hard about voice recognition is it takes a lot of horsepower and a lot of RAM, and you don't have either. Well, that's right. However, I mean, I have 310 horsepower <laughs> under the hood, but not in the sink. No, that, and that's true, and so that's always a challenge. That's why we've got a specific engine for it. Um, I think the, you know, the real nice thing is, as the systems are progressing in technology now, we are getting that horsepower, and that's why you're starting to see the recognition rates that you are and whatnot, and and also bringing uh, the new features for sync. In, uh, the in tweeting. The I want. I want oh, to tweet. I want to voice tweet. Be I've been to wanting to do this in my car for ages. you have ages. voice recognition for tweeting? Yes, absolutely. So that's what uh, they were talking about. You know, in, in our next generation. Uh, feature set, we're going to be able to do SMS dictations and tweets. And That's one thing listening from Sync right now. Kind of I can, I can, if I have a proper phone, I can listen to a SMS, but I only have a menu of, say, 10 responses yeah. that I can right. send. I'd love to it, dictate it. It's a very, very limited number of words But that, I'm using that can in my recognized. iPhone. I use, you know, drag and dictate your, your product in my iPhone. Correct. It does a great job, and it doesn't do it on the iPhone. I understand it sends it to a server where the recognition is done and sent back. Yeah, absolutely. You don't so, do that with Sync, though, do you? We do not do that with Sync today, I think that in the future you're going to start seeing that, right? So things like dictation take a lot more CPU right. than looking up an artist name in your right. uh, directory. So you're going to start seeing uh, off-board services. Uh, they talked a lot about that at Ford today, and this stuff's going to start going off-board. But the key is, I think, you know, Nuance offers technology on the server side, technology on the embedded side, and then we can create a user interface that's the same across those, so the right. person, as they're interacting... They don't care, they don't know. No, it's going to sound yeah. the same. It's all the same, irregardless. Yes. Nu Nuance uh, is an interesting company because you acquired a lot of this technology. Are you now developing it internally as well? I mean, how, how, how did this happen? Because Nuance is everything now. <laughs> you know, I mean, you guys, you're in OCR, oh, yeah. you're in voice recognition, you do a ton of stuff. Right. So, actually, you know, the, the genesis of the company was, uh, was an OCR-based company. Right. And then they acquired voice recognition technology and have continued to build on that. So the engineers that were already there came over. Yes. And, uh, and so, yeah, because it's not sitting still. What's interesting is how you're kind of the last man standing in, the, in both OCR. I mean, there are some others, but not many. And, and really, in, uh, in voice recognition, nobody else is doing it except maybe in China. Well, no, that's not exactly true. You, you know about the competition. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, so, so there's plenty of people uh, actually Doesn't right now. Doesn't seem like it, I guess. That's a testament, yeah. to, testament well, to your there, success. There, there's, there are a lot of in-house folks doing right. Uh, right. the technology development as well. But Nuance does have uh, you know, significant R&D uh, teams in Boston at our headquarters right. in Boston. Um, Menlo or the, the, the Sunnyvale uh, right. Valley area. 
and then also uh, we've got places now in Montreal, uh, Ghent, Belgium, Aachen, Germany. Is that because Germany. you have to have uh, for different languages? Do you need sure. different researchers? Yeah, so that's a big aspect, right, as we start going forward, is adding languages and language portfolio and maintaining, being able to deploy this technology, especially for these auto companies, they're selling their cars all over the right. world. International. And we've actually got a small engineering team now that uh, uh, we've put in uh, Shanghai. Wow, that's great. So we're really expanding all over. Well, I kind of, that's you know, really I didn't know until Kiki told me that Nuance was in sync, but I thought that you might have to be because it was so accurate. And I'm just not used to really good accurate voice recognition. I do know one competitor, though, that's coming right at you, and that's Google. Absolutely. Yeah, Google is very, I mean, all their phones now have voice voice recognition. Sure. Yeah. But and it's they still have an very a little limited. bit of advantage. Well, they have an advantage because they're using the Google 411 to collect samples. Sure. And that's got to be a real advantage for them. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of uh, telephony applications too today. Okay. Smart. Uh, so Might be why you're on the it, iPhone. It could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very smart. You are being recorded. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I really do love Dragon. It's the best. You know, my friend David Pogue was a guy who turned me. I'd used it for years, but he said, Leo, I write my books. I do all my indexes with Dragon. Naturally speaking, and he said, if you can do your indexes with Dragon, then I must be the best out there. And I think that we're all in agreement. It really is. And the fact that it's in the car makes it really even better. So well, thank you. Really yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. I didn't even know you were in. You, you, told, you told me this. When can we get in the car? I want to get in the car. Who do we have to see? We can, I want get, to go we for, can get in I the Lincoln go. that we brought oh, here. Oh, we got our we own car. Our we don't own. need to borrow their car. I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, can, we can go sit in our own car tomorrow. Let's see. What is going on here? MapQuest now. So this is cool. The Sync has its own GPS, but it imagine does. using MapQuest and sending it to Sync. They're, what, they're really, what Ford's really trying to do, as, 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 uh, as Brian said, is, uh, is connect to the outside world, even though you're in a car Even right though now. you're isolated yeah. inside of your yeah. bubble in yeah. your car. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, we're so running out of, believe it or not, battery. <laughs> We're just running, running through this. It's good. <laughs> this has been so much fun. There's still it, so much to see here. It might be your battery that's running out too. <laughs> My battery. <laughs> well, run you know, did you notice something? Low. As as we were outside and he, as we were eating dinner, I'm like this. Yawning. But he gets and in here and starts talking. As soon as I talking. get in here. So excited. It's so exciting. The energy. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. products, the people. One of the things that's cool yep. about CES, it drains you dry, but it is so exciting to see this stuff. Yeah, and it, it enriches a lot of your knowledge and your understanding of where the market's going, where things are pushing forward, who's right. doing what in the marketplace, right. so that you have an idea of like who to be looking at in the future. So, so really good. Uh, Cosmo or Martini? Oh, I'm going to stick with water tonight. We have a long work day tomorrow. <laughs> we thank you for being here. We do have a long work day. We're going to be here uh, on the live stream uh, uh, starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, Pacific time. We're going to go 9 to the close of show, which is probably 8 or 9 hours. Yeah, long uh, day. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to talk to everybody. We're going to do Windows Weekly. We're going to do the Daily Gizmos. We're going to do Home Theater Geeks. We are going to... This Week in Computer Hardware. Twitch with Ryan Shrout. You're going to go going, out in the I'm field. I'm going to be out in the field. We're going to be visited by Tom at some point this weekend. Everybody's going to come by. People are going to be dropping by the And that's stage. just Friday. Gonna, that's just Friday. Saturday and, and Sunday, I'm doing the Tech Guy radio show. We will have a lot of people dropping by then, including uh, the CTO of Ford Sync, who's going to talk a little bit about how they do that. And that'll be in uh, the Twit, Twit Live. Oh, we're going to stream it all. Live.twit.tv. Live. Of course, everything you see on the show uh, today, last night, and going forward, you can subscribe to on our podcast. That's twit.tv slash CES. We've got audio and video. We're also posting on YouTube, youtube.com slash twit. And you know what's cool? The camera that we're using, thanks to Brent here, is a high def camera. I'll give you an example. This is the future for us. Uh, the Alan Mulally interview with the CEO of Ford is in 1080p, our first 1080p video ever that we've ever Beautiful. done. Beautiful. So really, it's really it does great. look incredible. Our video from today and last night, 720p. Sweater. And especially, I really want to thank Tony, Tony Wang, and Eric Lanigan. Eric. Yes. If you go to our, our posterous, twi uh, go to go to uh, twitlive.posterous.com and you'll for see updates. the video that poor Eric recorded at <laughs> 5:30 in the morning. After being up all night, they're working really hard. <laughs> the whole team is. You guys are great. I really everyone's working Colleen, their butts off. Colleen, Colleen Kelly doing a great job on this. Uh, Lisa Kensall and Frederick from our our front office mm -hmm. came down and they're helping to produce. Of course, the great Dane Golden, who's our VP of programming, who's producing all this. Brent By, you're the 
greatest. We appreciate your camera work. Couldn't and be Burke, better. who drove here and has been carrying things. Burke McQuinney yeah. looks a little sleepy. <laughs> he looks a little tired. He looks a little sleepy. We thank you for joining us. Yep. We'll be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific, live.twit.tv. See you later from CES. Twit Live from CES 2010. Showstoppers. Good night. Doing the twit. Doing the twit.